Adriana and I just, uh, we just made that. Vlog 10? I have to lower my chair. This is how you have to do it. Better. So we've had many requests to do a brewery thing in Mesa. Luckily for us, there are two breweries downtown, Aura Brewing and Desert Eagle. Uh, we decided to get in contact with Aura Brewing, so we decided to head down there on Friday morning and talk to Chuck and talk to him about their beers and their process and get the scoop behind the newest brewery downtown and a cool relationship that they actually have with a sandwich shop downtown. Worth takeaway. Your smells good. Huh? It smells good. Thank you. It's coconut. Here we are. It's Friday. We're gonna go check out Aura Brewing, which is downtown, uh, right before Country Club and Main Street. Pretty cool place. We have to. I have to call Chuck, and I'm gonna call Chuck. Thank you for calling. You've reached Chuck. I'm not available to take your call. Um, I know where he is. All right, Chuck. We're gonna come find you. Guys are up bright and early. I'm Chuck. Brittany. Brittany. Nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us do this, Chuck. Did you sell at home? Can I get your beer? <laughs> no thanks, I actually have a lot to do today. I've been here before, so I'll give her the tour. It's, yeah, it's all yours. <laughs> thanks. Open the door. Good job. Oh, really? No, I was going to walk straight through it. No pictures of my recipe. Understood. <laughs> Step over the pallet jack. What do they call these things? Barrels? Ooh. Behind the scenes. Ah. Is that nice? Yeah. I want one. What can I get you missing? Do you have anything besides beer? Um, well, we are in a brewery, you so. Have a, a coaster, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. These countertops and tables are made from the original flooring that they ripped up because it's a concrete floor now. So they saved the wood floor and made it the bar top and countertops. But what it was this before? Like a dance studio. You wanna see what they have on the menu? A whole bunch of stuff. I don't wanna pull don't it. Don't pull it. <laughs> I want to. We've been here for five minutes. Take a Let's glass and pull it out. down. I feel like I'm at Cheers right now. And I'm Norm, you're Cliff. You're definitely Cliff. I'm definitely Norm. What? What's wrong the with Cliff? That, the fact that you, what's wrong with Cliff? Uh, well, uh, you see, uh. Well, uh, you know, interestingly enough, uh, it harks back to uh, the early Persian Empire, about 500 BC. He's the annoying. Oh, no I'm annoying. Okay. He's the annoying know-it-all. So, if, honestly, if anyone was Cliff, it'd be me. I know. I don't know anything. So this is gonna be beer. Tell me what you, Brittany, how you gave your tour. Okay, Brianna. Yeah, yeah you uh, you grind that stuff up, and then you let it ferment, and you ferment it. Oh, hold it. She Slow didn't down. tell me that. So hot side is where we take the hot water, mix it with the grain. Okay. Steep it up. Transfer the liquid that has all the sugars and all the goodness and all the flavors into the boil kettle. And once we get to the boil kettle, we add our hops and other ingredients for flavor. And then once that's boiled, hour, hour and a half, we cool it off and bring it over to a fermenter. Then you add the yeast. Add the yeast after that. And what did the yeast do? What'd you learn in school? Rises. No, that's, that's baking <laughs> bread. <laughs> so our system is a three barrel system. So we, have, we make about 93 or 100 gallons, roughly about 100 gallons. And that takes us, well, an hour, an hour and a half, a few hours on the hot side, bring it over to the cold side, it's another hour to transfer, leave it in the fermenter for weeks. Takes, that's where the yeast, they kind of grow, they're just young little critters. You want them to go through their young age, their teenagers, and then they get to be a little older. Their moody side. Yeah, and then when they're ready to go, their senior age, we, we put them to sleep and set them down. All these are fermenting beers right now. Do you distribute out anywhere else? Oh, your beers? Not yet. Not yet? Are you gonna do it? We, uh, it all depends. We sell everything we make up front and we're struggling to keep up. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Like yesterday was Thursday. Yeah. And it felt like a weekend in here. It no was way. standing room only all night. Oh my so. God. How's your thing with Worth going? 
That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. Worth takeaway. So what you can do is you can order a sandwich and they have runners that on is sandwiches so cool. from Worth Takeaway. Isn't that insane? So obviously everything with Oro next to it is yours. Yes. If you it brew like it, God. they will come. Mm -hmm. Yes, so true. What happens if you're full? You don't have a weight. It's just like a normal bar, you're full, we you're full? We put out the velvet rope. <laughs> make everybody line up. We bring the clipboard and all the Rihanna will be your bouncer. Your bouncer. <laughs> you need to be on the list. You got that, you got that really scary voice. I do. She'll <laughs> be terrified. Yeah. Ride your bike down, walk down, light rail down, Uber down, whatever it takes to get here. And yeah. then just have your have a fun time while you're downtown Mason. Oh, hi, Jason. Hey, how are so you? So you're opening up the cidery? We are. Dude, I'm excited. Yeah. I like cider. Good. Hopefully by, yeah, uh, hopefully by Veterans Day. Really? Yeah. We'll cool. Plan. We'll start distribution within a month or so. What? Now, on your way from here back to the studio, go by uh, Organic Bean Company. Okay. And talk to Rachel. I'm going over there to get coffee. And tell her if she can't use OBC, because that's Oro Brewing Company. <laughs> it's their sign. And actually, one of our internal logos is, is OBC. True for. So, <laughs> tell Rachel. Okay, I've so where where once. where is the or forty one North? The signing question. Hi. Hello there. Are you Rachel? I am. I got bad news, Rachel. Chuck sent me down here and he oh said that you cannot use OBC because it's Oro <laughs> Brewing Company. I don't know why you're That's laughing, so Rachel. <laughs> so uh, I do want a coffee though. All right. What would you like? Um, uh, I would like ooh a cappuccino. Cappuccino, please. All right. great talking to Chuck and having run of the place, but we wanted to go back and see it in full swing. So we went back Saturday night to see how it was doing and what the vibe is like when it's in full swing. And we were pleasantly surprised. We're gonna, what day is it? Saturday. We're gonna do. And we're about to go into Oro Brewery and we don't know if it's happy hour or not because it's Saturday, so let's find out. Sounds busy. I have chocolate in my teeth. <laughs> Saturdays we get pretty busy down here, um, and a lot of people will want food. And uh, like Mondays, Tuesdays are a little bit slower down here. Um, so I would say like ten times on a slow night. Wow. So yeah. That's so good. it's still still pretty good. Nice. It looks really good. You watch me take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now try the soup. Yeah, dip it. This guy knows. This guy knows. <laughs> It's actually really freaking good. Yeah? Cheers. You have to have some. This is cool. Let's all go hang out. And, like, we have a beer. So I just heard that. Yeah. Well, awesome. It was nice seeing you. Yeah, nice seeing you. We'll come in soon and have lunch. She's so cool. It's good beer. Oh, it's incredible. Don't drink and drive. Seriously. Just don't do it. Okay, moving on. So we would be remiss if we didn't talk about Desert Eagle, the first brewery downtown. Chuck says that he has a great relationship with them and they helped them out when they first started. So we decided to go back and see Desert Eagle and see what that was all about because I had never been there. Uh, they opened from three to 10. So those are their summer hours. So do you have happy hour for you guys? Yep, every day, three to six. Every day or Monday to Friday? Every day. Oh wow, even on weekends. Even on weekends. Cool. Or do you only serve your tap beer or do you have other? No, we only have ours. Whoa. Look, it's 
exchange. Please return so that others may- Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you should participate. This is this cool place? I know. Downtown Mesa. Downtown Mesa's the bomb! So thanks Chuck and Dave for letting us hang out. Oro was really fun. A really cool place in downtown. This downtown community of businesses is a really tight-knit group. And I think that's freaking awesome. And that's awesome for you guys because they all work together to make a great vibe and a great environment uh, to come and enjoy downtown. Those are the breweries downtown. We gave you a sneak peek. Hopefully you enjoyed it and may patronize one of those later in the future. So that's it. That's vlog 10. It's over. We're officially in double digits. Who knew we'd ever get here? Vlog 11 is gonna be a museum tour. Uh, how many museums are we doing next next vlog? Three, Three museums. What are the museums? Idea museum. Idea museum. museum Natural history museum. Page. Lily's back. Hi. <laughs> life life's good now. Things are organized. Yeah. Air Commemorative Force. Air Force Museum. That's vlog 11. Museum tour, Arizona, summer rates, all that good stuff. Vlog 11. Oh my goodness. Vlog 11. Vlog 11. My boss. I'm being mocked right now. It's fun. It's fun. I need to go get Rihanna because we need to hang our masterpieces.